What is up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Waters Boy 1991, and I'm here with a new event, or a repeat for it, called Emo's New Moon. Now, I have not done it because I didn't play I joined at Christmas time, so we have both to do, but knowing me, I will probably only get to the first one, which is a way of unlocking both two characters here at least. Because we have these two characters unlock, we have the Emo the Witch and uh, the Pumpkin, I forgot the name, never mind. Uh, it's Wendy the Jack and Jack Lantern, so yeah, Wendy the Witch and Jack Lantern. And then you've got all the other stuff, like that stuff here, and then of course for tier 2, you have the Scaredy Ghoul Henry, and you had the Frylotron 4000. I won't be able to do him, but at least... I'll be able to get on and have some fun and get this sorted for you. Now, I'll just quickly get on to the fact and show you guys the uh, objectives before I move on. And then we'll go also hit the gold, the actual golden things and whatnot. So first of all we have, for instance, I haven't done these tier 1 yet, so I can't do tier 2 yet. Moonrise of Emo. Trick or treat to every hand with a real witch. Uh, she occupies a formation slot. And no Crusaders adjacent to Wendy do reduce DPS for each monster on screen. Ouch. For Bring Forth the Pumpkin, you he Jack o Lantern occupies a formation slot. And Crusaders in the two columns in front of Jack, so this one here and here, take extra damage when they are attacked. Yay! It's too easy though. The third one for the first chest is Power of the Weird Sister. It has, each area has doubled the enemies or bosses. And enemies drop less going quest items and double the quest requirements. Which is why I will use my Prison Billy Smithsonian. Pumpkin Space Tank. Tank and treat to EU 200 against speedy monsters. Bring forth the pumpkin and moonrise of emo. Cost 900 carries to start. And... Monsters move fast, times as fast. Oh, the fuel and pumpkin spice, how cute. And the one that wasn't there last year, if you actually did it, is trick or treat. Monsters will randomly spawn, and when killed, if you give you additional gold, whether it's a treat or a trick, reduce DPS for the third one, and you have your free plays. Now, I... Give you a look here. I, there is a golden epic for it, it's not going to pop up there, but there it is. It's a, for jack-o'-lantern. It is the Dancing Blades of Haunting Pumpkin Carving. It increases gold gold by 150%. These are the blades famously used to carve the Headless Horseman's Pumpkin Faith. Brilliant. Now I'm gonna go get this just to get the going epic as always guys. Because I support these guys. And next up will be the actual start of the first objective. I'll catch you guys in a minute. See ya. Bye. Okay, so here we go, I'm at level 2 of it, it'll easy breeze through the way it is. Now I'm going to just quickly show you what happens if I put it in here and see how bad DPS is down by. Every 2%, that's not too bad. I'll put you there for the buff at the moment, because I think I can do it that way. It's not going to be difficult because the fat's only 2% and if you keep playing it and rushing it through, you should be able to get it done without ever building up that percentages. I don't know who he is, that's Mime, Mime will go there, go down there, kitty kitty cat, and click it, why not? Well, no, it won't be difficult at all, and uh, I'll see you close to 100. Oh, and by the way, there's a current buff going on for extra cats, because they're doing extra life fundraising. Every 10 bucks, they add a percentage to this gold buff. It's going to keep on changing for two days. Brilliant. Also, so you buy it, so I can get that. And I bought it. And I got the epic. Nice! 69. And it is going pushing through. Yeah, it's really simple this case. All you have to do is quickly push through so your DPS does not get knocked down because most of the buffs you did good enough, you shouldn't get screwed because you can kill most of those guys pretty quickly without trial or fail. That's brilliant. Just keep moving on, guys. As I'm gonna see thing, and you'll be fine to get at least unlock these characters as always. So yeah, no, that first one's not too difficult at all. 
it's a simple push through and just keep it always updating your thing a lot and then you can easily get through to get these to damage right now I'm gonna start to do this one now bring forth the pumpkin so it's just another level 100 and what happens is there the two columns in front get damaged on attack it doesn't sound difficult but uh, it might knock it down by a couple of seconds. let's find out and see so here we go here's the two things already abilities going on because so I'm just gonna see how the match do you if, if there's a change depending on what level you actually go on so let's just try out 25 in the front 25 there 9.5 billion for that it knocks it down how much more damage of 33% it's not DPS to reduce I forgot more damage 33% damage not difficult another simple 100 mission if you keep upgrading otherwise yeah no I'll see you close to 100 I'm having a feeling I'm going to smash all these tier 1s in one video I believe so uh, sorry guys and here we go anyway here's a summary of the skills before I move on because we've done the 100 bring forth the pumpkin to unlock the pumpkin now Quickly is always just a witch and she replaces the switch of Gahoy. Nope, that's the merman. Can sell the merman. So, start a kit. I can give some more terms on the witch. Of course, you can. Little ferret, twitchy little ferret, aren't you? DPS is 15 and 100%. Okay. Food fight, don't you toy with me, you saucy mess. Wendy's 100% damage. Sell him, see us. Let's indoctrinate him into the Cathedral of Agony. <laughs> oh, well done. More power, my enemies think to overwhelm me. They only make me more powerful. Yeah, 25% for each enemy on screen, which was a DPS buff. We take away it's an increase, which is fine for this one. And then you have Samantha's Wisdom. Like mortals don't believe that Santa exists, some mortals don't, they just don't believe in witches. Okay, fair enough. And then that has a 25 skill. Because tier 1s will be at least having that skill done in that way, which is not too bad. <sighs> wow, no one's done any more money. Though. Anyway, yeah, we have done this 100 now. And now I'm going to quickly pop up and give you a summary of the that skill. While I also head up the next thing called... What the actual next thing is, which is the one about the pop-up. I'm going to get them all done in one video, guys, because I feel like I'm going to have to do it now, tier 1 and tier 2s. So, next we have is the power of the word sister. Beat 150 were more powerful foes. And basically, they have doubled the enemies or bosses, drop less gold and quest items, and double the quest requirements. That's not too bad. Use better Smithsonian, and we'll see what that is right now so yeah no it's basically as what it says is the objectives have doubled up at least yay which means yeah normally you need to kill 26 it's doubled up to 58 no it'd be 20 27 would be 54 28 would be 58 29 eh, yeah 29 they spawn fast, they spawn the same speed, but that's double the equations. That's not too fun, they're not that tougher, but it's probably the boss is gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, we'll find in a second, and then I'm gonna come up with the thing for Natalie's switch up, which is the Jack O' Lantern. Yay! Right, so here we go. I've gone up the Jack O' Lantern character, which replaces Natalie. And we're gonna miss you who goes through the character skills just the hell of it. Knock knock, took a treat, DPS of 100% of him. You have hearty cake, the cake isn't a lie, it increases the health of him by 100%. Cry for help, someone's trying to get a firecracker enemy, get him. Increase the DPS of 10% for each enemy attacking him, so he's a tank. Yay. I carve. How about I carve your face for a change? You have everybody scream. As we all know, ice cream increases your DPS. <laughs> so increases DPS by 15. 
solid energy, not so great after all, so you should protect this damage. And pumpkin power, perfectly presented pumpkin power, but probably be poultry pumpkin power. The 25 level bevel. <laughs> ah, rhyming turn timing. Oh uh, god, what have I done? But yeah, no, it seems to be fine. Especially that thing, because there was a debuff that they put the other way around. <gasps> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Anyway, campaign wise, we're still on 48 and we're 200, I believe. No, it's 150. Um, we'll get there in the end. Just you keep putting money in, pushing forward. It'll be done pretty quickly. I'm a brother surprised. Yay! Anyway, we're done now. It's long time between the past. Computer being off and on for whatnot. Yay, computer. Got to 180 now. So now we have done the quest. And I'll quickly show you the next one. We're going to quickly get sorted. The second challenge for this event with five days ago, which might be a little difficult, maybe, is to. Tank and treat to 200 against speedy monsters and they spawn, I guess, trap them all four times as fast. Doesn't sound really difficult. Let's see what happens. So, right here is Pumpkin Spice Strike for tank and they are moving ultra fast. How much? Four times as fast? Oh wow. Which means you get a DPS the hell out of them. Whoops! DPS time and I got it to 200. Not too difficult, especially when you do a, I guess in like most games, quickly upgrade them and whatnot. You'll be able to push through with enough ease, with and reason to get, let's get tier 1's done. Because tier 1's done aren't difficult after a while, so, should be able to do it. Uh, in my, my personal opinion guys, it's not difficult, it's not difficult at all. It's just figuring out the right times and ways to push through. And getting the upgrades to slowly kick the opponent's butt hops. Because why not? Yeah, no, it's good. It won't be difficult, I don't think. Now we're at 182, doing the usual push through, as I said just before. This will be easily done. I think, unfortunately, we only have like a couple of days left. Let's just check quickly. Four days to push to the end. It's now another gold. Epic that was available for email the wear with because it's an event of course. Um that's fine and um I'll see when I get to actually two hundred. And yep, there we go. Got that one at least done for it. That thing once I think I had in the process before unfortunately Jack Lands or Scott Food. So we've done at least filling up the these two new characters for the event. Now that is brilliant. We're on nearly close to two hundred as well, so I will probably jump the gun a little bit right now and I'll show you guys what we're going to do next because there's one more tier 1 event to do after this. This is Trick or Treat. Now it will be that Trick or Treat monsters randomly spawn. We have a kill that give you a treat with extra gold or a trick which is a little bit of reduced DPS. That's not too bad. How much is the trick? I want to find out. And treat would be a certain percentage or uh, I guess five minutes or two minutes extra won't be much though so yep we're doing it he's in the last one now i will probably run off and yeah i'll click some more to kill the last bits and he's dead we did it that's cool let's move on so yeah now we're in trick or treat those things and forty are spawning just behind us can do too quickly. I think they're only at the moment giving me gold buffs because I haven't seen them to do much decreasing yet. Because as it says here, trick or treats are supposed to get a treat or a trick reduced DPS. I haven't seen. Ah, oh, there's the DPS. Okay, right there. That's the gold. There's the buff. And they kill me and knocks it down to a bugger all. Okay, that's gonna be really interesting. But normal no rule, nine times out of ten is if you push through quickly, you should be able to smash it. 
And I mean, definitely smash it, even with the little differences of your DPS going down. Because he's still running through pretty quickly anyway, but that's fine. That's fine indeed. We will be fine as long as I use the normal one from last time, which includes my friend, uh, Billy Smithsonian. Cool. Also, that's why it's frozen stupidly enough. That's what it looks like when you have a, a lot of everything, including the trick or treaters. And I'm just gonna click it and watch them all disappear. Because, <laughs> funny, yeah, I'm at 182 of 250. Going well. I think it's again, as I said, it's an easy pickup. That should be easy to do. And there, they just killed them all. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. So, definitely been not playing as much as I want to promise myself. But we have definitely done that objective of trick and treat. So that was the last one, if I recall. And I will be pushing on probably to do the free place offline. Yeah, I will. Tier so yeah, two guys, I'll probably will do next time because make it simple. And I need to spend a little bit more on currency anyway, so for the achievements. So it's not too bad in the end. This is probably where I'm gonna leave it for once because I think. Having the free plays kind of pushed it too far. Just a tad, maybe. I want to know what you guys think about it in the comments, anyway. Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Oh, good, he's the Um, And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye. So, yes, guys, we finally did it. We did the end of the new Emo's New Moon chip. One tier one. Now, thank you guys for watching my videos. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Especially, guys, tell me what you guys think of this new way I'm going to do it. That I'm going to try and put them all on video because free plays, I think, I probably don't need to be done because they're just free plays and they're simple with now. Anyway, if you guys are wondering and just say what you guys want and I'll figure it out. And, as always, guys, I'll catch you later and bye.